I've just unlocked the pass fail to get the brand new Evo Goblin Bow. The Evolved Goblin Bow throws out two bows. One on each tower. One of them has real goblins in, the other one has decoys. The decoys do the same amount of damage as normal goblins, but they have way less hit points. As for what the best goblin bow evolution deck is, obviously log bait's a classic. This is the go-to goblin bow deck. However, the evo goblin bow does not shine in this deck. Because with log bait, you're going after one tower, it's very obvious which one is going to be the real bow and which one is going to be the decoy. Because of that, the deck we are using today is Recruits Bait. This deck has double lane pressure where the Evo Goblin Bow is going to shine into another game and this time this guy has the Dagger Duchess. So we have to play it a little bit differently. We can't just wall breakers at the bridge. We can't just naked goblin bow because the dagger duchess will do such a good job at cleaning it up. Instead, we have to waste the daggers with the recruits with the mighty miner and then we go for the goblin bow or the wall breakers. Doing that so the dagger duchess is obviously out of daggers, it fire rate goes way down and then we can actually get some good damage with our spam. Let's go for a princess here in the middle doing that just to get some chip damage going. And the princess will always require an answer of some kind because it doesn't cross the bridge. So a really good play there. Going to go for a goblin gang behind this mighty miner and then he's going to be out of daggers once again. So we are going to go for a goblin bow onto his tower. He logs, that's absolutely fine. Still no daggers right now so I'm going to go for wall breakers and he does set up a tesla. Again, that's A-OK. -okay. It's very important when the Dagger Duchess bar is low that we punish him and just go aggressive. Anyway, I believe my next Goblin bow is going to be the Evo bow, and that's very important. Going to Princess at the back right now. Obviously, an Ice Wizard is coming towards me. That's fine. Let's go for Rascals right now. And it looks like this guy's going to be Ice Bow. Now, normally, Ice Bow has a really good matchup against me. Obviously, he has Tornado, he has the Evo Tesla, he has an Ice Wizard, a Valkyrie. He has like all the answers. So this is going to be a really good test for the deck. No Expo in cycle, he just wasted the Evo Tesla. Let's go Evo Recruits at the back. We also have the Evo Barrel about to come and we just hit double elixir time. So this is very good for me. We are going to Mighty Miner here behind the Recruits, going to go for a Princess, going to try and snipe away that Tesla. And we are going to go for a Goblin Bow here on both towers, obviously. He wastes the log. Really bad log by him. He tried to activate the King Tower against the decoys, but the decoys got taken out before it could hit the tower. That was really good. He guessed wrong on the bow and the decoys there really coming in clutch. Double Princess at the bridge right now. He does have Evo Valkyrie. Again, really bad for me. Expo did a little bit of damage. That's okay. Wow. He just went for it. All in at the bridge. Not going to work for you, buddy. Dagger Dush is out of daggers right now. Let's go for a Goblin Bow. He wasted the log. Is he dumb? Who knows, but we just won a very hard matchup. Outplaying him every single step of the way. Insane. Okay, into a game. First play, we are going to Goblin Bow onto his tower. Obviously, we want to cycle closer to our Evo Goblin Bow. And he does waste the log, so we are going to go Mighty Miner for his Princess, then go for Wall Breakers to apply some pressure. He goes for a defensive bow, one Wall Breaker connects, that is good stuff. Obviously going to play a Princess here myself, and it's going to be a bait matchup. Obviously, Evo Goblin Bow just came out, people are going to be using Log Bait. Anyway, we go for Rascals here to defend the Knight. And we do have the Goblin Bow back in cycle, so we are going to throw it onto his tower. Very good stuff so far. My next Goblin Bow is going to be Evoed, and that's going to be really good for us. He does go for a Goblin Bow onto my tower, we just arrows that way. Going to go for Wall Breakers on this left side. Like I said, doing that double lane pressure right now, and one of them connects. Beautiful. Then we are going to go Royal Recruits at the back. Get that split lane pressure going. We have the Evo Goblin Bow. What is he going to do right now? Not too sure, but we are getting those double bows onto his tower, and that is beautiful stuff. That's exactly what you want to see. He logs the right side, but the left side is taking so much damage. Obviously, you only have one set of log arrows, whatever, and this is why this is the best deck for the Evo Goblin Bow. It shines in this deck. It is beautiful stuff. Going to go for Wall Breakers here once again on this left side tower. Goblin Gang on the right 
He logs away the rule breakers, so we are going to go for a barrel right now. And this guy is getting absolutely destroyed. Do you think we can trick him? Like we go for a Duke barrel up here. Let's see if he falls for it. And he does. That's beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's so much damage. Literally in arrows range right now. Wall breakers on the left take the tower. We arrows his tower. And that is like the perfect game. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Double goblin barrel on the king tower to end it. And that is so much damage. Throw him the good game. And I'm in disbelief. That is so good. A big thank you to everyone using code UFO in the shop. It really supports the channel and I appreciate everyone using my code.